Hello and welcome back to 16 Years in Alkyria Kid okay, 3. You find me in Glen Finnage. I'm just reading it off there. You can much really tell that. But it is quite a nice area. I'm meant to have a, a lot of walks around here, which I might be uh, doing uh, when it comes to it. And there's quite a lot of wildlife. Apparently it's um, home to a lot of uh, red deer around here. And golden eagles. I hope to see one of those. Uh, harrier hen, uh, black grouse, common lizard. Fair enough. Uh, small, I don't think I'm going to see butterflies. And... I think there's a river down there, but it might see some stuff, or it might not. And juniper berries. Apparently, there used to be uh, over a thousand people lived here, and after the First World War, it just steadily declined and declined. But as I said, there is a lot of walks. Another great place I've just come past is Duff Town. Home brewers of Duff Beer. Here he comes, Duff Man. Oh well, yeah. Well, I'm trying to put a, a happy face in it. We're try. We're getting to William. But yeah, there's uh, good news and there's uh, bad news, I'm afraid. Uh, I replaced... Oh, my word, that is still chilly out there. I know, I see. I replaced the um, coil pack, ignition coil, whatever the hell you want to call it. And um, William's still got the same problems. Which is not good. Uh, but I did notice one of the leads was quite um, corroded. Um, so it might be the lead in the spark plug. I really don't know. But I'm not going to keep throwing money at it. I'm not a mechanic in any shape, form. You know, I've just had that problem before on cars and I've replaced it and it's worked. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to bite the bullet and then wait until Monday, pretty much. Um, yeah, Monday's going to be the best time to do it. And then um, take him into a garage and figure out what the hell is wrong with him. I hope it's not something, it's something too serious. But I'll give it to him. He still limps along. You know, I'm all the way down here now, and uh, I'm on the way to Aberdeen, which is where I'm roughly going to be heading towards, um, because I have a friend down there. Um, yeah, I've uh, got a friend down there, and she said, you know, I'm not allowed to leave the area until I've seen her, even though I've never met her before, but she's a great person, and she wants to take me out for some walks, so that'll be a, a decent weekend. Hopefully she's not busy this weekend, uh, is more the point. But on good news, I thought I was going to be scrimping and scraping at the barrel, but I thought, you know what? I went into Al Asda's and they got one of them uh, coin counting things. So I took everything out of the uh, centre console, and there was quite a bit in there. Um, chucked it through the coin counter, thinking, you know, I might get, you know, 10, 15 quid. You know, it's some more food, you know. It's not a uh, screen post paper or anything like that. And I got, literally, um, just shy of £39. Which I'll take that. I will take that. We've got a nice place to sleep. I've got some chicken, I've got some crisps again, because I was right here, run out of them. I've got some chocolate, I've got some more digestive biscuits, so I've got something for breakfast. I'm going to put that back there. Don't worry, it's my oasis sitting against my chicken. End up with cold chicken and warm oasis. But yeah, so that is just what's going to have to go on. Just slowly leap, you know, leapfrog towards Aberdeen. On another note, even if I do run out of money, knowing that all you um, pervy people on there that have been staring at my story... You know, I mean, if you know this doesn't work out, I can always take up only uh, only fans. You know, I know. I might put another one up in a couple of days, if, so you can all, you know, <laughs> have a look at it. I was quite surprised, to be honest. You know, and um, plus on Radio One today, they were saying about body image and things like that. And be proud of your body, honestly. Be proud of it. You know, whether it's big, small, tall, skinny. You know, you've got a beer belly. You've got man boobs, moobs you know, or anything like that, you know, be proud of it, I'm proud of my body, you know, it gets me to do everything I've done, and I've got hearing aids that you keep hearing squeal, you know, I've got a face full of metal, I've got false teeth, I've got a half a hip, well, I'll just keep cracking, you know, and that's more of the point of it, the stuff can go wrong in your life, like what's happening with William, and you can let it just crash you out, or you can go, right, there's that, what can I do instead, what else can be here happening, and just go forward and keep moving forwards and yeah that's the best advice i can give at the start of uh, 2023 but other than that like i always say look ahead keep trying take it easy keep adventuring i love you bye